Hello guys, today we are going to talk about the leukoplakia. So this is the premalignant lesion. So premalignant lesion are the disease that occur just before the cancer. So this premalignant lesion have high chance of developing into the cancer. And here is the picture of leukoplakia. They are a white patch or plaque in the oral cavity. So in this video, we are going to talk about the causes of leukoplakia and its clinical features, histological features, as well as some treatment. So if you are new in this channel, please like and subscribe. That would be highly appreciated. So let's get started with the definition. <clears throat> so it is the white patch or plaque in the oral cavity, which cannot be scraped off or stripped off easily, and which cannot be characterized clinically or pathologically as any other disease and it is not associated with other physical or chemical agent except the use of tobacco so this is the proper definition of the leukoplakia so it is the white patch or plaque in the oral cavity as you can see in the picture there is a white patch or plaque in the oral cavity and this white patch or plaque cannot be scrapped off or stripped off easily so if you try to remove by scrapping off or stripping off it cannot be removed normally and it cannot be characterized clinical or pathologically as any other disease so this white patch or plaque does not match with any other disease or clinically or pathological if you try to compare with other disease it doesn't really match with the other disease and also this is not associated with the other physical or chemical agent so this white patch it, it is not associated uh, with the uses of other physical or chemical agent but it is always associated with the use of tobacco so this only occur uh, during the use of tobacco but let's see the etiology of leukoplakia so the main causes of leukoplakia is tobacco uses so use of tobacco in the form of smoking or chewing can lead to leukoplakia there are also other factors that can contribute to the leukoplakia such as alcohol as alcohol decreases the oral health status then it can contribute to the leukoplakia also chronic irritation so if you have constant irritation in the mouth it decreases the oral health and leads to leukoplakia also candidiasis so this is the fungal infection that occur in the mouth so as they occur they decrease the oral health status and leads to leukoplakia also electromagnetic reaction and uv radiation can also leads to leukoplakia so those were the local factors that can contribute to the leukoplakia. There are also systemic factors such as hormones. Hormones such as endocrine dysfunction. So when there is a dysfunction in endocrine, then it may lead to the leukoplakia. Also male and female hormone deficiency can lead to leukoplakia. And infection such as HSV, that is herpes simplex virus infection. Also HPV, human papilloma virus. Also Epstein-Barr virus. Such infection can lead to leukoplakia as they decrease the oral health status. Also, drugs such as anti-metabolite or anticholinergic can also contribute to the leukoplakia. And vitamin deficiencies can also contribute to the leukoplakia. So there are also some diseases such as syphilis, sideropenic dysphagia can lead to the leukoplakia. Syphilis is the sex. STDs, sexually transmitted disease, and oh, siderophenic dysphagia. There is difficult in swallowing, and also there is iron deficiency anemia. Now let's see the clinical features of leukoplakia. So before we get into this, let's first discuss about the pre-leukoplakia. So pre-leukoplakia is the condition just before the leukoplakia. So in pre-leukoplakia, there is a low grade or very mild reaction in of the oral mucosa. So you can feel slight burning sensation in pre-leukoplakia and also it is precursor of leukoplakia. So it just occur before the leukoplakia and this pre-leukoplakia eventually turn into leukoplakia and the prevalence is 0.5 to 4.1%. Also it has low malignant potential. When you compare with the leukoplakia, this pre-leukoplakia has low malignant potential and the appearance is gray or grayish white in color never completely white so this appear as a grayish or grayish white but never completely white white in color while leukoplakia mostly occur white in color 
also the surface of the lesion is flat with slightly lobulated pattern so if you see the surface it usually flat with sometimes so lobules are seen and the border are not well defined so you cannot distinguish distinguish the border so it may resemble uh, with the normal mucosa and it is partially scrapable so this pre leukoplakia is partially scrapable while leukoplakia they cannot be scrapable normally so let's see the clinical features so is it occur at the age of 30 to 50 years because normally these age people are mostly involved in smoking or use of tobacco also if you compare the sex it is more in male than female because male are often more involved in the smoking or tobacco uses or alcohol drinking and sight it mostly occur in the buccal cavity where they put the tobacco also it can occur in the border of the tongue floor of the mouth lips hard palate and soft palate and it is mostly asymptomatic but speckle type may be burning so if you have leukoplakia it is asymptomatic you don't feel any pain or burning sensation burning sensation initially it is asymptomatic but the speckle type may causes burning so speckle type is the another type of the leukoplakia and there is a burning sensation in the speckle type and if you see the appearance of the leukoplakia it appear either solitary or multiple paths so it can either occur in the one side or both side or also on as a solitary or multiple and the size varies from the small to large lesion so size it could be varies from small or either large and if you see the surface of the lesion it may be either smooth or either wrinkled or rough and it cannot be removed by scrapping so normally you if you try to scrap uh, with the instrument it cannot be removed and also the lesion are usually white or gray in color so the color of lesion are usually white or gray in color but maybe yellowish or brownish due to heavy use of tobacco or food let's see the types of leukoplakia so usually we have two types of leukoplakia they are they are homogeneous leukoplakia and non homogeneous leukoplakia so let's first see the homogeneous leukoplakia so in homogeneous leukoplakia the white plaque has no red components but have fine white grainy texture or mottle rough appearance so in the homogeneous leukoplakia there is no red compo components it's only white and it is it has grainy texture or mottle rough appearance so homogeneous could be so smooth or furrowed or ulcerative so here are the picture of the smooth leuk leukoplakia so this is the smooth types of leukoplakia and this is the picture of furrowed as you can see there are a lot of lines and it look like furrowed so this is the picture of furrowed leukoplakia and here is the picture of ulcerative so there are, you can see there are a lot of ulcers and site comes in contact of tobacco so wherever the tobacco comes in contact it occur in those sites such as buccal cavity or sometimes lips and size is 10 mm so if you measure the size it's usually 10 mm and it is non scrapable and brownish white plaque with more or less uniform appearance so this color is usually brownish white and it is more or less uniform appearance and it appear as a crack mud appearance or corrugated appearance like beach at evening tide so here's the picture of beach at evening tide as you can see and leukoplakia homogeneous leukoplakia appears just like the, this so as you can see here it resembles to the beach at evening tide so those were the homogeneous leukoplakia so let's see the non-homogeneous leukoplakia again it is of three types they are the speckled leukoplakia as you in the picture and this is the verrucous leukoplakia so this is the verrucous type of leukoplakia and this is the erythro leukoplakia so there are three types So the lesion consists of white flakes or fine nodules. As you can see here, there are so many nodules or granule-like structure. So nodules are the small raised structures. So you can see a lot of nodules. And it is the transition between leukoplakia and erythroplakia. So 
erythroplakia is the condition where there is a red red patch just like leukoplakia but red patch in the oral cavity so this is just transition between leukoplakia and erythroplakia and site where tobacco comes in contact with so basically it comes usually occur in the buccal cavity buccal surface or maybe lips also it appear as a mixed red and white lesion so homogeneous has only white component while this non-homogeneous it has both red and white components also small multiple keratotic nodules are scattered over atrophic mucosa so you can see a lot of uh, muc uh, nodules that is keratotic nodules as in here so the, they are scattered over the atrophic mucosa so mu mucosa where there is atrophy they are present and the size is 10 mm so if you measure the size it's usually 10 mm and this is this has high rate of malignant transformation so don't forget to check the part 2 of leukoplakia in which we'll be discussing about the histological features and the treatments